Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily apply the deep learning, mainly recurrent neural network for weather prediction involves leveraging sequential data to predict future weather condition. So in this case, I just try to integrate Python, TensorFlow, and Google Earth Engine are powerful tools for this prediction. So I will try to explain all of details step by step. I hope after completing this full tutorial, you are able to do, do this type of prediction. So basically in this case, mainly Python, we are used general programming language for data pre-processing, model development, and deployment. And TensorFlow, basically it's provided with a framework for building the train recurrent neural net model. And Google Earth Engine, basically Google Earth Engine uh, provide you the historical weather and satellite data. We can easily get it from here. So first of all, we need to collect the weather data. So in this case, uh, different types of weather data. It can be temperature, precipitation, wind speed, or others data we can easily access from Google Earth Engine data catalog. So first of all, you need to import the Earth Engine library. And then just simply authenticate with your Gmail account and further simply put your project. Okay. And then simply call the data set. In this case, I want to predict for rainfall, mainly precipitation. So for that, I simply import this image collection. So basically, this image collection provides you the daily precipitation data. And then simply filter the specific time period. So from this data, I can easily get that historical rainfall data. So simply import my data set. And this is my reason of interest. So in this case, I simply input my uh, rectangle. So this is my rectangle. And further, I simply extract the average value. Suppose every single base average precipitation data I extract from this data set. So for that, simply just define a function. So it's a function. So in this function, I simply put the function variable name is the get data, and then I calculated the average for every single day's precipitation, and then put the return and e feature dot stats. And from this, we can easily get the data. We can easily find out the data. So this data we can get. So this is our historical data. Basically, in this case, I work for the precipitation. If you want, you can also work for the same process to take the temperature data or also take the wind speed data or any other weather vector. You can easily get the same process. After we need to pre process the data, so we need to normalize the data to range 0 to 1, just we need to normalize and convert the GE data to a structure like NumPy array or Pandas data frame. So, for that, we need to import the two library one is the Pandas. I put the name as a td, another is the numpy, I put the name as a np. So further, we need to also import the another important library. It's called the scalar preprocessing data. And I import the min max scalar. And further, we simply extract the feature property, which contains a list of feature. And another is that data frame we create null. Further, we in, uh, iterate through the feature, extract the properties, and create the data frame from the list of properties. So now simply sit here at the mean and max value, and then we just fit uh, with our data. So after creating this type of things, we need to prepare the data for uh, recurrent neural network. Okay. So in this case, for creating the recurrent neural network data, we need the total three factor. We need the sample, then time steps, and feature. So in this case, first of all, time steps. So in this case, 30 days of history. We just put in here. Uh, I put the 30 day. We need to predict for from this time. So just I put the step is a 30, uh, 30 days of history. We take from here and create the sequence. So in this case, uh, we put the data and time step. So now we create everything for the sequential level, everything including in here. And then after doing this step, we need to build the neural uh, recurrent neural network model using TensorFlow or CRUST. Define the neural recurrent neural network architecture so for the simply import the tensorflow also import the tensorflow cross model take the sequential and also call the tensorflow cross layer it also called the lstm 
okay and also dense okay, for though we create the model so in this case i try to apply the adam optimizers and loss msc and then we uh, just simply apply the uh, train the model so for training the model we need to spill the data into training and testing so for that we just simply call a library sklearn model selection and uh, just import the library train test is filled and then we take the variable x train x test y train y test and then simply spill the data so i put at the 80 percent data to train my model and 20 percent data we test our model okay then we create this model and fit with our train set so we find out this type of result and after that we just simply call the uh, model and predict with our x data set mainly we predict the x test and then predicted value we simply call and then we just simply display the result we find out this type of result so we find out that uh true value and prediction value display in here so for that if you want you can also download this type of data as a csv file so just i write the code i call the pandas library and then simply call the predict value values and then further we simply uh, download the data in a csv file so after we can get this type of data so here you can see we just get the prediction data okay so this is the precipitation we find out okay we can predict the data from year of 2000 and last date you can see it show the data 2025 okay 2025 20 uh, december 25th december we got the data predict so this is the process for predict the weather using the recurrent neural network if you also try for other data set okay so in the meantime i also give you an announcement for coming online training program so basically this class will be start from uh 13 december and now it is open so if you want you can also join this upcoming online training program and join our live training program to learn the Google at engine. So basically in this online training program, we are first focusing for beginners who don't have any knowledge about the Google at engine or who don't have any knowledge about the Python or JavaScript. You can easily learn everything from a stress to big advanced level. Okay. So I already added all of things in the video description. You can simply check it. And further, if you are interested to join, then simply contact in my WhatsApp number as well as you can also contact with my email. So now if you want, you can join with the 50 percent discount because first 10 it will get the 50 percent discount on this online training program so if you want to join so as soon as will complete your registration and you can check all of course content for every single day you can also check it all of details and when you join this online training program you also get some benefits such as you can get the course certificate after submitting all of assignment you can get all of materials mainly slide pdf or others material you can easily get it and also get the practice code okay all of practice you will get and you also get the recorded class suppose you miss any live training session you can easily get the recorded class and live time teaching support it's very important as a beginners because uh when as a beginners when you start learning the google at engine face a lot of problems so that's why we are also providing the live time teaching support so that's why you can smoothly learn all of things properly so if you want to join this live training program and this class will be start from the 13 december so as soon as possible to get the 50 percent discount book your seat and join our coming online training program Thank you for watching that. Stay happy, stay safe.